Butchie, Bruce Cassidy, talking to his uh, immediate boss. Shot by Belmar, stopped by Smith. We mentioned Nathan McKinnon, Kale McCarr in the lineup for the Avalanche tonight. Nico ramped in as well. Save made by Georgiev. Played much better in the game following, so good improvement by the young forward. Here's Nathan McKinnon across for Kale McCarr. Good save there, right off the, it was off the right pad. And now the Golden Knights shorthanded. Save made by Georgiev. Ovalenko setting up in front of the goal. Shot blocked there by Bubonitz. There's McKinnon. Back out to McCarr. Now McKinnon into the front. Score! Mm -hmm. Adolo fires it home on the power play. We welcome those of you who have just joined us who were watching the Rangers and the Devils. Brian Boucher. Yeri Edela connecting for the Avalanche on the power play four minutes in. Well, he finds that soft little area. Good screen in front of the net by Kovalenko. Beautiful pass here by Nathan McKinnon. It lands flat, goes between the legs, and a power play goal for the Avalanche from Nathan McKinnon. Edela, 26 years of age, he's from Finland. Played the last couple of years in Sweden with the Prolunda Club. He was given an opportunity on the power play with the big guns with McKinnon, Rantanen, Kovalenko, and McCarr. And Edela took advantage. Now it's safe made by Spid on Miles Wood, his former teammate of New Jersey. Another stop by Spid. Second man advantage for the Avalanche. Early in period one. They look to set up Edela once again. I think that chance might have came off the Vegas Golden Knights stick. Four skaters aside for 55 seconds with Edel is sent to the box, safe made by Georgiev on uh, Brendan Brisson. Ten seconds remaining on the first penalty. Ben Hutton with the puck straight away. Five on three for Vegas. Reflection in front by Burke. Puck kept alive by Nick Cade. First penalty expires. Edel returns. Now a five on four for the Golden Knights. There's Brisson with a shot, and that's handled by Georgiev. It's been about a year. Here's Prabinets with some room into the slot. Back out for Hutton. Hutton with a shot. Score! Golden Knights tie it on the power play. Good quick release there by the veteran Ben Hutton. And one thing I really like is he's not 60 feet out. Very low here, Boos, for Colorado. And Hutton makes some pay. Traffic two by Tanner Pearson in front. I mean, you see the... Pearson just parked himself right in front of Georgiev. The Colorado defense elected to leave him alone. You can see he's just bearing the play and no chance for Georgiev. Avalanche back across. John Luke Foodie. They made by Akira Spin. The official scorers say first it deflected off Kolasar and then Pearson. So the goal reads Pearson from. Polisar and Hutton. McKinnon stopped by Schmid. It's the fourth of six preseason games for both teams. Yorkiev gathers it in. Rebound. The fact that they were able to do it, I mean, to me, is remarkable. Either way, either the, the four straight game comeback or, or by Edmonton or the, the turnaround by Florida is going to be a great story, but hockey is alive and well in South Florida. There's no doubt about that. Play penalty coming up against the Abs. Uchez with an outstanding opportunity and Georgia with a nice stop. Now the center and pass score with the extra attacker. Brisson gives the Golden Knights a 2-1 advantage. Oh, you see the quick hands there of the young. I mentioned Uchez had a great chance, but look at the work. Look at the hustle here down low. Good support, good strength in numbers. Right in front of the net, quick little play out in front, and then bam, up top. This puck actually goes off the skate of Uchez right to Poisson, and Bush, you got three Vegas Golden Knight forwards within about, what, 10 feet? Yeah. Well, you said it, the extra attacker, I mean, plays a role. Polisar lets it go through. Under a minute to go on the Rosen penalty. Hutton shot deflected. And another penalty as Polisar was upended. 
Rasan back on the ice for Vegas. Five on three advantage. Korzak. Nick Hayes turned aside by Georgiev. Rasan with the puck. Five on three. Did not convert. Burke was looking to get a stick on it. Here's Korzak once again. Off the post from Rasan. Takes the return from Kovalenko. Now Miko Rantanen. Down low, Kovalenko oh. went between the legs. Just an unbelievable power play for the Avalanche. There's the between the legs that you mentioned. Puck kept in the zone by McCarr. Schmidt got knocked over there because Haig, Robert Haig, knocked Kovalenko right into him. Backhand oh. shot off the post by Kovalenko. Then he gets another great chance right in here, and he goes off the post. Former member of the Avalanche. A terrific NHL career. Spin the save from point blank range. Puck forced out of the zone. Here comes Providence. Moving in. And he is stopped by Georgia. Boy, a couple of turnovers for the Avalanche allows the, uh, the Vegas Golden Knights to, to get chances. Jacob Providence for the golden opportunity. For the Golden Knights. Providence again. Cross side for a turn. Score! The Golden Knights take a 3 to 1 lead. Zach Aston Reese. After the stop by Georgiev on uh, the Providence breakaway just seconds earlier. A tough play for Phillips and Georgiev to defend. How do I say the lack of consistency, but knowing what you're going to get every night. There's McKinnon moving in to the same by spin. Now to a 3-1 to one lead. Another look at the McKinnon. Buttons pass intercepted by Foodie. Here's Persona. Already has a goal tonight for Vegas. They tried to make a backhand pass there. Just was denied. Setting it back out. They score. Brisson with the setup for Fleming. The Golden Knights take a four to one lead. The puck's been fine at Abush in the offensive zone. That's Brendan Bastron. Puck entering the zone. It's denied. Watch right here. Doesn't make a drop pass. And then he ends up seeing Fleming, and Fleming comes right in. And don't know if Georgiev was screened or not by Calvin DeHaan. Yeah, there looks like he's right in the shooting lane. Yeah. And it just goes right over the glove. Sometimes you try to be a little bit too fine, if that makes any sense, when the goaltender is deeper. <laughs> Score! 5-1! Vegas, Aston Reese with his second of the night. He knocks his buck out of midair. Another guy. We talked a lot about Brendan Brisson, and rightfully so, but Zach Aston Reese has been another guy that is very, very noticeable for the Vegas Golden Knight. Golden Knight bench. Look, watch in front of the net. The left part of your screen, there's 20 white. He's going to work himself to the front. Watch this. Shot up in the air and then bam, right out of midair. Tough to locate where Aston Reese is, right? Because he comes out of the corner. Face each other on Thursday in Vegas. And then they will open the regular season in Vegas next Wednesday on TNT. Saved by Georgia. Was that absolutely knocked in by McKinnon? Yes, it was, Kenny. It is now 6-1, Vegas. Well, excellent work by Vegas. I mean, winning puck battles. But I thought McKinnon, as you did, Kenny, I thought McKinnon put this puck in, but excellent work down low. Working from low to high, the quick little shot, and like if both sticks were there. And the way McKinnon reacted, I thought it went off of him. But... Right. Looks like their sticks actually, they have both touched oh, wow. the puck. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, the heel of the stick. Five winding down here in Denver. The Golden Knights win it. Six to one.